What is going on, guys? So uh, today, uh, this is, of course, a, a slightly different video than usual, but I kind of wanted to give you guys the rundown on um, what I've been working on in the past couple of days, especially in terms of voting for deep dives and the future of how I am personally going to handle getting the votes from you guys. So pretty much we have the Discord server, which um, actually there are roughly 118 of you guys in here. So if you're in here, shout outs to you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, but basically, uh, in the Discord server, there's now going to be, uh, in the FAQ, there's going to be this little thing that talks about this exact video. So if you are pretty much comfortable with running commands and interacting with a bot in Discord, you don't need to really watch this video. You will pretty much understand this Q&A right here. Um, but for the people that do not understand that or possibly need a little bit further explanation on how this is going to work, that is what this uh, video is going to be for. So the basic question is, how do I use Deep Dive Bot to vote for the next Deep Dive? So basically for a video explanation on how it works, please watch. And in this little slot is exactly where this video is going to be linked. Basic syntax is an exclamation point and then the command. So there are two commands that you guys as viewers will pretty much want to use um, possibly regularly. I don't know. Uh, so there's going to be exclamation point vote and exclamation point results. So those are the two ones that people are going to use. So for the purposes of this video, we're just coming off the end of the Jungle Cup and I have basically cleared out all of my information to prepare myself for the Mirror Cup. So we're going to kind of use the Jungle Cup as just like a quick how-to really fast. Uh, so for voting, you'll actually type exclamation point vote and then you're going to name the Pokemon right after a space in vote. And this will cast your vote. The name must be in English for the Pokemon. Uh, as of now, I did try to work uh, kind of around that with a Pokedex entry, but it gets really complicated with uh, forms and Pokedex entries. And I basically have to give IDs to every Pokemon. And if you personally don't know that ID, then it kind of makes it really awkward. So uh, just for now, all the Pokemon names have to be in English and they must be spelled correctly. It will tell you if you misspell it or if you possibly don't choose a Pokemon that's even uh, allowed in the cup, things like that are also going to uh, hinder you from casting a vote here. And then our second command is going to be for displaying results, you will type exclamation point results. Nothing else. There's no other stipulations. That's going to show you the top five highest voted Pokemon at the moment. So if you have any questions, feel free to mention myself or the mods. Uh, and just so everyone's aware, the two moderators are my brother and Dogen, who are IRL friends. So um, if you guys are interested in being a mod, you should at me in here for me to know. So basically what's going to happen in deep dive votes, we do have an entire channel dedicated to uh, voting for the deep dive. Here again, this is just going to be at the top of the channel just to get us started. If anybody doesn't know, it'll stay here, but it will always be quickly accessible in FAQs as you won't have to scroll once this channel starts getting populated. So for the Jungle Cup, let's actually cast a vote really fast. We're going to vote for Vigoroth. So once we hit vote for Vigoroth, you can see our deep dive bot responds. Your vote has been cast for Vigoroth. And it does show us a little picture just so that in case the uh, Pokemon that you were hoping to vote for possibly isn't the one that you actually voted for, you'll at least get a picture representation if it's from a different language or something like that. So we are going to cast a vote for Vigoroth. Now, what does that actually do? So you guys have seen this plenty of times before, but this is basically the end card that I usually show at the end of deep dives and say like, hey, this is what's coming up next. Um, it's usually formatted a little bit better to compensate for my phone screen, but you know, you guys have seen this before. Basically, this is where this is all going. That bot actually fills in a slot. You can see Vigoroth here, and it actually fills it with a unique user ID for your Discord username. So if, for instance, I try to vote for Vigoroth again, 
you can see that it actually will tell me something went wrong, possible issues. You've already voted for this Pokemon. You may vote as many times as you like, but only once per Pokemon. So the Pokemon's name was misspelled or something major broke, yell at me or the mods, and we'll try to figure out what happened. So basically you can't vote for the same Pokemon more than once from now on. And the reason for that is so that we get a more concise idea of what the general populace wants to see because at the moment in the YouTube comments basically if you went I only do once per video but I let you vote for the Pokemon as many times as you want to so basically what that causes is some of the deep dives that we do to be a little bit skewed possibly could miss out on what the general populace wants more than you know just one person commenting over and over and over so you can't vote for the Pokemon more than once. What that'll actually do is it actually goes into the spreadsheet. It checks if Vigoroth has been voted for by your specific user ID. If it has, it returns that it can't be done. So long story short, what ends up happening is that it gets transferred into this sheet, which is just a literal tally. You can see nothing has been tallied except for our one Vigoroth vote there. And it puts it into a nice results tab, sorts it by the results so that we get the highest up top, which ends up giving us our pie chart. But the pie chart looks a little funny right now. So let's actually go and let's vote for Venusaur really fast. So once we vote for Venusaur, you can see that we do have a uh, confirmation vote there. And let's actually vote for Victory Bell just because it's the only other thing off the top of my head that I can think of. So Victory Bell there, boom. So we've got three different votes in. So now you can see it automatically updates the spreadsheet for me. So instead of beforehand where I was going through every single comment that I ever got and pulling out names, I was basically manually entering them into this, this sheet right here. It took a lot of time and it took a lot of manual work. And I think this is a lot more streamlined. It's a lot easier to understand and a lot easier to uh, everybody really I mean you guys can come into the discord vote for whoever you want like I said the rules are fairly simple only one vote per Pokemon per person but as you just saw I voted for three different Pokemon you can vote for every single Pokemon in the cup if you want you can only vote for that Pokemon once though so the results that we had let's actually do results here so if we do results, you can see that it's actually going to give us the top five Pokemon. Now, it's going to look kind of funny because we only have three votes in here. So if we only have three votes, basically what this is doing is it's pulling the top five Pokemon from this sheet. You can see we have a vote for Venusaur, Victory Bell, and Vigoroth, but Abomasnow and Apom are both zero votes there, but they do show up in this list just because they're alphabetically sorted. So once a bunch of votes starts coming in, this will start being a little easier. So basically what happens is if you want to see what the next big deep dive is, because let's say you're going to be doing some gameplay submissions. Let's say you are planning on submitting some video for the deep dive. You can actually just go in here and this is server wide. You can just hit, you know, results and boom, it's done. Now, what happens when I do a deep dive? I can actually go in, and you guys can't do this. Uh, this is just for me. But I can say complete. Venusaur has been marked complete. So that whenever you guys actually want to go in and see what the updated results are, you guys can see that Venusaur is no longer the number one option. Victor Bell and Vigoroth are the two that are upcoming. So this is a little bit more streamlined, a little bit easier to uh, handle on my end and hopefully on your guys' ends. Um, of course, if you do have any questions, please feel free to uh, jump in the Discord at me or at the mods. Uh, I did train my brother. You can see we had a bunch of uh, a bunch of fun stuff over here talking back and forth and being goofballs. But uh, yeah, my brother, Weldon, I will show him what's going on, but I'm definitely going to be the easier one to... Uh, to talk to you about it but so hopefully that is a uh, quick explanation on what deep dive voting is going to change into of course with the mirror cup hopefully this is going to be extremely fun but uh yeah from now on this will be the way that we handle votes 
Um, if you still want to comment on YouTube, I, that's still a very valid way to get my attention on some Pokemon. It's just that generally this will be the way that I handle uh, accepting the votes from now on. And of course, in the YouTube comments, I, I don't have a way to do versus videos yet. So uh, YouTube comments are definitely going to stick with uh, versus videos for a while because this bot took like 12 hours to program and it was a pain. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for watching. Um, until our next video, I will catch you then.